is it taking into account uh, more small scale, small, small, small scale processes? Um, for example, some information or feedback, uh, more carefully, because the uh, effect more carefully than, for example, fungus biology, because uh, this process is, is much important for us uh, in this scale. Um, and as you can see, this model collects some uh, different kinds of physics, and uh, it's also uh, don't let us to compare these models directly. Uh, some models include star formation, uh, and other models have uh, feedback and everything else. And uh, it's uh, very simple to see that uh, magnetic fields uh, in a different approach uh, uh, is a very often influence in such kind of models. So, in this context, I would like to show uh, my recent model. Uh, where I solve uh, hydrodynamical uh, equations on regular grid. Uh, I'm also taking into account live stellar disk with body approach and star formation receives and stellar feedback from uh, stellar winds and uh, supernova explosions. Uh, I'm using a, a, a large sample of cooling and heating processes uh, in the range from 10 to 1 million uh, gallons. Um, as I said, uh, uh, I uh, include magnetic field with a constraint transport during gas cleaning in my model. Uh, uh, I also simulate active dust grains uh, as an uh, plan air pulse and body approach, taking into account the temperature of dust grains and the uh, drug force from uh, interstellar medium. And uh, I also have my uh, uh, chemistry of uh, uh, this is my start. It's, as I said above, I'm starting from uh, a cooling during galactic disk, a stellar, a stellar galactic disk, which is unstable. This is a cube parameter. You can see that uh, there is a value approximately 1.2. The uh, initial temperature disk is uh, uh, 10, uh, 10 kilowatts, kilowatts. Uh, box size usually the same, and uh, my spatial resolution is uh, seven process. A few words about uh, simulation of dust, because it's a uh, very important feature in these models. Um, I think that dust is collisions uh, in interstellar medium, where um, uh, the direction of uh, dusty clouds is not very important, for example, in Prototyping these components for more small scales, uh, this is might be an uh, incorrect statement. Uh, but in uh, our scales, it's okay. As I said above, I'm using a um, body approach for uh, simulation of dust grains because uh, uh, I would like to have multi flows motions of this component. Um, uh, what number of particles? Of course, uh, 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 as large uh, as you can, but uh, as in the models of uh, stellar uh, particles, uh, each particle represents some collective properties. Uh, uh, dust grains have a very really difficult uh, um, uh, combination of forces. First of all, and the is plasma, this is a low forces. This is a drag forces from neutral and uh, change gas. This is a radiation pressure. Uh, but it's okay. It's a, a passive uh, component which taking into account this, uh, these features. Uh, and uh, this yellow line shows uh, how uh, dust rains affect on the uh, processes in interstellar medium. Of course, one of the most effective uh, chemical reaction of the formation of uh, molecular gas this is the formation of uh, H2 on the surface of dust grains. And uh, the second uh, feature is that uh, uh, our cooling and heating processes strongly depends on the, uh, on the metallicity and chemical abundance of interstellar medium. Okay, this is three snapshots from my simulation. Uh, upper panels is just a large stellar disk, which is unstable. We can see uh, formation of uh, uh, flow and spiral pattern. 
in general, uh, gas flows uh, follow the uh, morphology of stellar disk. Um, this is a uh, uh, phase on here, of course, and we can see that uh, a stellar disk evolves also dramatically than the, uh, than the gaseous disk because of the large impact of supernova explosions and uh, different uh, turbulent motions in gaseous component. Um, a few words about uh, domain decomposition and uh, how this affects on the uh, stability properties of uh, my simulation. Uh, uh, I test how the this simple 1D, 3D, uh, 2D, and 3 dimensional decomposition affects on the acceleration of my code up to uh, to uh, and half uh, in that course. Uh, it's clear we see that uh, accelerations for with the 1D decomposition start approximately at 1. And uh, 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 through uh, uh, 2000 cores, and uh, the most effective at large scale cores, uh, of course, this is a, a three dimensional decomposition because of the uh, uh, nice load balance for hydrodynamical processes. But at the same time, if I use such kind of decomposition, um, this gives a, a bad load balance for. Uh, in this system, this is like stars and dice grids, because number of particles and number of uh, interaction between processes are much uh, diff different between uh, different uh, processes. Um, how hard did this acceleration uh, distribute in time? Uh, this is a time distribution um, uh, uh, of and this is the time which I spent on different on calculation of different kinds of physics. Okay, we can see that uh, when I start from uh, quite equilibrium, uh, sim uh, from quite equilibrium model, most of my time is spent on calculation of gravity. I have no uh, many uh, uh, complicated chemical processes yet. I have no uh, also cooling heating uh, and processes and maybe some other subgrid physics. But when uh, motion of gas becomes more complicated because uh, gas pulls uh, turbulent motions produce uh, produce a, a large amount of um, molecules, uh, I spend approximately up to 80 persons uh, uh, of my time to calculate this uh, this process. Uh, of course. Uh, this is a two problems. The first is the bad balance because different processes have spent different amount of time to calculate, uh, for example, chemistry. If you have a small dense region, there is no uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, there is no, no numerous uh, calculation for uh, formation, for example, H2. But we can see again we simulate a region with a large dense, it should be much cooler, it should be much molecular. So, this gives us the conclusion that microphysical processes are spent most of the computational time in these kinds of simulation. Of course, I forgot to say that uh, I also spent uh, much time for substance because uh, the time scales for cooling and heating and uh, chemical processes much lower than uh, hydrodynamical testers. Okay, I go, I go back to uh, physical results. This is a uh, snapshot for a distribution of uh, surface density gas, gas uh, surface density. This is the dust distribution, and this is this is narrow show the distribution of magnetic field here. Um, let's zoom in one. Uh, to the simulation, we see a uh, couple of jet particle clouds with a very large abundance of uh, uh, dust. You can see that this correlation is very good, uh, but what happened with this uh, single uh, dust to gas ratio? Um, this, uh, this, this is not constant. Uh, uh, however, usually in the 
a different kind of simulation, people also have this ratio constant on different scales. Uh, it's clear to see, to see that uh, this, there is a very good magnitude of variation of this uh, relation. For example, in, in a very dense planetary cloud, you see we can uh, find a uh, few, um, up to five or seven persons of mass is a test. Um, this is a, uh, this declines is a, uh, Strings of uh, lines of magnetic field distribution. It's also nice correlate with the distribution of uh, dense, uh, uh, dense uh, uh, molecular clouds. Um, <coughs> despite these properties, the uh, evolution might be quite difficult. We see that from um, uh, from the different kinds of instabilities, such as uh, hydrodynamical flows and uh, gravitational instability, jet black clouds form from uh, as from agglomeration and as from uh, instabilities. It's clear we see in this um, movie. Despite this, there is a good uh, relation between properties uh, of this cloud. This is a mass mass size relation for the simulated clouds and uh, it well agrees with the uh, uh, observational data. Uh, but how this relation change if we, uh, uh, we decrease the uh, spatial resolution? This green dot is also the same picture for dust and for uh, mass to uh, regions uh, relation. If we, uh, if we uh, decrease the resolution up to 20 or 50 parsecs, which uh, I hear this is approximately a uh, resolution for uh, some zooming simulation, you can see that uh, uh, small masses uh, uh, part of clouds becomes cut. This results also was found in ASP simulation by Dobbs and Pringle. Um, when we have the resolution approximately uh, 50 parsecs, this is also not clouds. This is a uh, Large agglomeration of gas uh, with a uh, very large mass and uh, large size. Large size, size. Um, uh, next test is a uh, next resolution test is a how do we evolve a H2 abundance and different cloud and clouds with some information with different spatial resolution. This is a um, time depend uh, group of uh, H2 fraction. Uh, we see that uh, in uh, high resolution models, the H2 boundaries grow much faster than in uh, low resolution models. Uh, this gives us the conclusion that these clouds, the high resolution clouds, should perform uh, stars much faster than low resolution models. Uh, this gives us the conclusion that uh, clouds' lifetime depends on the resolution. Uh, I think, yes. Yeah. Uh, because of this plot. And there is a high resolution judgment that for molecular clouds uh, life fast uh, during now. Okay, and uh, I also would like to compare this uh, uh, mass size relation for clouds for uh, different kinds of simulation with for pure uh, hydrodynamical uh, MHD and uh, MHD plus uh, dust solution. Uh, this is again this mass to size ratio. If we add to our model uh, magnetic field, uh, we can find that uh, clouds become much larger. But the mass of these clouds uh, becomes, again, becomes uh, in general much smaller. Uh, this happens because of magnetic fields stop the creation of gas in, in dense clouds. and. Uh, we can see that the slope of this relation uh, uh, change uh, very, uh, very significantly. And this is a comparison of uh, simulation with taking into account magnetic fields and uh, the active uh, dust grains. This is al also the same uh, plots for uh, pure hydrodynamics, pure MHD, and MHD plus. Uh, dust, uh, dust, uh, for active dust particles. We see that 
uh, does produce very high, produce uh, molecular gas very effectively. And uh, uh, this, uh, this relation become much clear to uh, pure hydrodynamical simulation, but still not the same. And my conclusions, first of all, uh, I show that uh, active dust grains and magnetic fields have a significant impact on the structure of Jump uh, nuclear clouds and a resolution of uh, 7 power 6. Uh, our understanding that increasing of resolution required uh, to take into account directly more uh, small scale physics. And how, uh, how I can see the uh, future of uh, solar scale simulations of GMC. This is, of course, uh, CO, chain correlations, rotating the ultimate and uh, monitor the evolution of uh, dust grains, which take into confirmation destructions in the years.